Even guys, uh, I'm only wearing the hat so that Tegan doesn't think I'm a flake because of the bet I made her last week. Uh, show me your drinks. Nice one. I'm going to assume you have a drink if you're off camera, but I can't know for sure. If you've got injuries, let me know in the comments. If you're not, in fact, everybody has to make sure your area is clear for exercising and that you've got all the equipment you need, which today is something to do Russian twists with. So either a DVD case or a medicine ball or a school bag or something. And every day that I say you don't need anything else, there's always something else. So Russian twist, archer press up, crab walk, press up plank sliders, jumps, hip thrust, pistol squat, rotation plank. So it's pretty much just that one thing can cover all your bases. But we'll start with the warm up. We're going to do a walkout series. So I'm going to start building that combo again, like we've done in the last few videos. So when I tell you to do the first one, keep doing it until I add the second one and we'll layer it up from there. So we'll go walkouts in three. Two, one, go. That's it. So walk out to press up plank. So it's like a memory game. When I add the second one, you'll do one rep of this and one rep of the new thing. Downward dog. So walk out, downward dog. Come out of the downward dog and then walk your hands back. One walk out, one downward dog. Remember, hips go in the air, you drop them down, then you walk your hands back to your feet. Then Spider-Man lunge. Okay, knee problems, just avoid anything with, with bending knees or stop. So walkouts should be okay. So you're going to go lunge, lunge, downward dog, back in, stand up. Walk out, downward dog, lunge, lunge, walk back. See, once, once we start to lose the chain, I'll stop it. Okay, then you're going to go lunge, lunge, and shoulder tap. So walk back. So walk out. Lunge, lunge, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, walk back. Good. Some of you are rotating as well because you remembered. Okay, now finish on an even number and stand up. Rotations are looking really good though. Cool. Let's see. Shoulder cars. So this is going to be, it looks very similar to other stuff you've done, but it's a little bit different. So lying on your front. It's like the reach ups. So line your front, but turn your thumb. So have your thumb pointing out, turn your hand over, and then reach into streamline. Just make sure that your fingertips stay off the floor. Start with that, keep your elbows nice and high. So imagine if I was on the floor right now, if the camera was on the floor, it would look like this. So if you go, that's your demonstration. Now you've got to do it. Keep your elbows up really high, slow, continuous pace. Try and keep your hands, your wrists, your elbows off the ground and keep your face down. So the whole way through, just keep your wrists and elbows up high and keep your hands out wide. Okay, then stop. Then compass lunge. So again, if you can't do compass lunge, just do quad stretch until we've switched. So again, quad stretch if you can't do compass lunge. Otherwise, you're going to do compass lunge once round on each leg. Three, two, one, go. All the directions as low as you can. Unless your knees hurt, then do a stretch. Which can be any of the ones on the sheet that you're all doing when you leave the video or the ones that I've shown you when you stay on the video at the end. All the way around, get as low as possible. Try and keep one hand on the floor, one, one hand, 
One foot on the floor as you go all the way through, then switch feet. So when you come back to the middle, don't touch both your feet down. Just keep one of them floating in the air. And stop once you've covered all directions. Okay, yeah, we'll try that one more again. Everyone watch the camera. Okay, so when you lunge out and come back, keep your other foot in the air. Don't stand here, because you're trying to work on stability. So lunge out, go back, lunge, go back, lunge, go back, keep your foot off the floor. Three, two, one, go. Remember, just keep doing quad stretch if you can't do campus lunge. So stay in the middle for one second. There's one foot on the floor, like literally this. So one foot shouldn't be touching the ground unless you're in the middle of a lunge. Knee out in front of you nice and high. Then sit down once you've done both sides so I know that you've finished. Okay, stop. Then we'll move on because it's time. Let's go with star jumps or just keep working on stretching and recovering if you can't do running. Three, two, one, go. Star jumps. Tegan, how did you keep the hat on for the whole thing? It's so weird. Make sure your feet move evenly. Mm -hmm. Hands above your head and streamline. Okay, then splits. So one foot forward, one foot back. Yep, you don't have to do them as full lunges. You can just skip one foot forward, one foot back. Okay, then stop. And then we'll go one round of animal movements. So we'll start with gorilla walk. And, and again, take your time if you have to, because you're worried about your knees. Three, two, one, go. So gorilla walk. <laughs> it's a high bear walk. Jamie, that's so quick. Okay. Then go into frog leap. So down low, jump high. Then kangaroo hop. Swing your arms if you need to. Then crab walk. Sit down low, remember get your hands up. Okay, then hedgehog curl. So curl up, stand up, curl up, stand up. And relax. Right, Russian twists. So remember, slow, straight arms up overhead if you want to progress it. Arch your press up. So that's pushing up from side to side. And then I'll give you the other alternatives after we've got going. Grab your kit. Ready to go, Russian twist. Um, if you wanted to, if there's two of you and you've got one thing to pass around, you could sit back to back. That's quite a fun one. So if you had someone behind you, you'd go left, put it down, they'd pick it up, bring it back around. Three, two, one, and go. And the further back you sit from each other, the harder it becomes.
Okay, halfway through, move as slow as you can. And try and go up overhead. Yeah, nice one, Jamie. High up overhead. Hannah, good balance, nice one. Brees, very good. Daisy J, very cool. Try and go straight on, if you can. That's it. Five seconds. Lexi, try and reach a little bit further. And stop. Archer, press up. So down on the floor, if you're struggling, start from the ground. Put one hand out to the side. Push yourself up back to the middle. Three, two, one, go. Let's see how I look on the camera doing it. Yeah, Veronica, that's perfect. It's the best thing to do if you aren't sure. Set yourself up, move one of your hands out to the side and then push yourself towards it. So it should make it more of a chest exercise and tricep. Okay, if you can do push-ups because of your knee, then do glute bridges. Uh, it'll switch in three, two, one, go. So you're switching sides, direction does the hand out to the side face. Both the hands point. Let me think. The hand is out to the side, the fingers should point away a little bit. So sort of like two, three o'clock on a, on a clock face. And relax. Crab walk. So if you can do crab walk, do hollow hold. So on your back, nice straight legs. Hold your body position, crab walk. Three, two, one, go. So if you can do crab walks, down low, shuffling side to side. <laughs> or as low as you can if you can't walk with low hips then just try and shuffle yourself around remember so low shifting your weight swaying so you're working on mobility and body position Fifteen seconds left. Okay, Serena's got the right idea. Keep your hands down low in the middle if you have to for balance. So you're swaying side to side. You're working on your knees, your hip mobility, core conditioning, and relax. Then press up plank sliders. So straight arm. Press up plank position. Slide your weight backwards. Three, two, one. Go. Like that. Walk yourself forward. Do dead bugs if it bothers your knees. And then the further you walk back, the harder it'll be to pull yourself forward again. If you can do it, if you're on a laminate floor or you've got socks, or something slippy, just slide back and then try and pull yourself forward. But everyone else, do it like walking with your feet. 20 seconds left. Okay, very good, Yash. Thank you, you're all doing a really good job. Let's see, Sophie, imagine you haven't got any knees, so your legs have to stay really straight the whole time through. And relax. Yeah, that's it. Stop. A little bit of break. Russian twist. So again, if Russian twists aggravate your knee, just keep your feet on the floor. Ready to go. So a little like this. Feet down. Three, two, one, go. Ideal scenario, 
Feet up, straight back. Slowly, like four seconds each side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. So you're not going to do that many twists. Go up overhead if you can. You're about halfway through. If it starts to burn your hips up, just bring your feet closer to your body or drop them to the floor completely. But that's just to make it more challenging. So people that have got foam rollers that might be a little bit stronger than that, or you've got magazines, just do it super slow and reach as far as you can. So you're twisting your chest to the side. Then stop. All right, you press up. So I'm gonna start with my left hand out to the side. So I'd go like this, turn my fingers away. Three, two, one, go. So if you're unsure, I'm gonna line myself up. Spread your feet if you wanna make it a bit easier. So you've got that nice wide base of support and try not to stop from the floor. If you think you're getting stronger and want to make it harder, you can always do one to the left, one to the right and alternate. Okay, nice, Sophia. Live looking strong, 10 seconds left. Remember, if you're still building strength here, you've got to start with your stomach on the floor and relax. It's actually going to hold you back more, guys, if you don't start on the floor. So people that can't do a full one, lie flat down and then push yourself up. Then crab walk. Three, two, one, go. So other options for this, you could do wall sit. It's a similar movement, just with less core use of your core. Robin, you can go lower than that. If you can go lower, you should be going as low as me at least. I'm only going backwards and forwards so that I can still see you in the camera. But if your knee hurts, you're just going to do dead bugs. Or leg raises. Okay, 10, 15 seconds. Next stage. If you can't keep your hips below your knees, do the core one. Laura, that's what I'm talking about. That's a crab. That's low crab walking. Three, two, one, stop. Press up plank sliders. Get or dead bugs. Three. Two, one, go. So let's see, people are bending their knees. Basically don't bend your knees. So even people with knee problems should be okay with this one. Um, okay, Jess, perfect position. Yep, fair enough. That's what they're there for. Um, yeah, if you've got any knee pain, crab walks, you should definitely just do a core thing because wall sits will still hurt. Remember, the slower you go on these, the more you're going to feel it. And the longer you get, the harder it'll be. Three, two, one stop so a bit of break remember if you want to really push yourself to a longer streamline you might find that you can't walk your feet backwards but that's fine if you end up like this flat on the ground you can just go onto your knees and come back to the middle russian twist one more round three oh wait one more thing with your twists make sure you're turning your chest so it's more like that so i'm trying to See this Guildford logo on my shirt? It's like I'm trying to hide it from you. 
like this, rather than just kind of throwing my foam roller. Three, two, one, go. So just pretend you had a logo or a G on your t-shirt, and when you do your twists, you're trying to hide them from the camera. So Lexi, perfect example. You've got something on your t-shirt there. So try and hide it from the camera when you do your twist. I go really far. Yep, that's it. Leave with your shoulders, not your hands. Uh, if your knees hurt, just put your feet on the floor. Okay, Ilo, good. Uh, Good range of motion on the twists there. Just trying to slow them down a bit. Edie, perfect. 10 seconds left. Ayla, good reaching, try and slow it down. Three, two, one, stop. Especially younger ones, you've got range, but speed and control is the harder thing to learn. And Archer, press up. Three, two, one, go. This is pretty much what am I looking at? Okay, Sophia, yours are really good. If you want to make it a bit simpler, spread your feet. Have to take your feet a little bit wider, see if that feels better. Yeah? Good. Christian, that's fantastic range. Well done. Uh Lara, if you come off your knees, spread your feet and lie flat on your stomach. Yeah, there you go. Lara, even if you finish the session and you've only done like two push-ups, that's still really, really, really good because you're doing it that way. Okay, Charlotte, very good. Jess, great body position. And stop. Then crab walk. Again, you might have done two crab walks so far and decide you want to do core stuff now. That's fine. Three, two, one, go. Oh, Tara from Junior County B. That's a lot of crabs in the house. Oh, it's a mirror. I thought there was, a, oh no, it is a couple of you. Go on, Fim. Get your hips a bit lower. Yeah, that's it. Good straight back as well. What did we used to say? You want to be a young crab, not an old crab. Old crabs round up and get small. Go on, Tegan, all the way down. Unless it hurts your knee, in which case don't. Okay. Laura, that's a really good tempo on the leg. Laura's good job. 15 seconds left. So even now, if you think your knees are hurting a bit too much, Savannah, really good V-sits. If your knees are hurting too much, just do the core one to finish off the round. And stop. Brown from Junior Count, yeah, that could have been like the crabbiest walk I've seen. That was really good. Emily, you've got competition. Uh, press up, plank, sliders. Three. Well, not a little bit longer. I'm going to demo this one so you've got more time to think about it. So if you can get all the way back down to here, then just recover yourself and walk back each time. Three, two, one, go. Just so you don't have to choose between stopping early because you can't walk back and going all the way. Find which one's more challenging and walk on that. The other option is to go streamline. So if your hands are closer together, that'll make it a bit harder for you to keep your shoulders in place. Taking this hat's getting really itchy. Jamie, great body position. That's, wow, Robin, that's really low. Well done. All right, like great body position. Finn, great body position. Relax. Okay, round one done. Part two, lower body strength. So this is going to become a bit challenging for people with sore knees. 
because we're going to have to make it just a core circuit. So normal session is squat jump or you're doing shoulder tap. You've got hip thrust, which you should all be able to do. So that's the one where your upper body is on a bench or a chair. It's also the, the other way around to hamstring raise. So you want to start, if you're not sure, start sitting down. So you're looking across the room. In fact, I've got a good idea. I'm going to show you what the camera sees. So if you imagine if I had a camera on my chest, so I can see across the room there. And then when I finish the rep, I can see the ceiling. Or probably a better point would be my belly button. So if you think if there's a camera in your belly button, across the room, up to the ceiling, and back down. Good thing the ceiling was clean. That could have been really awkward. Remember, use two feet if you can't do one leg and go from there. Everything else you guys know, I'll give you alternatives after the first one. So squat jump or shoulder tap. Three, two, one, go. And remember your job with the jumps is to go as high as possible. Okay, nice. Remember, shoulder taps go as slow as you can. Spend as much time on one hand as possible. And just while we're talking about it, I don't want anyone who's doing shoulder taps to feel that they're missing out because it'd actually be worse for you to force your way to, through the jumps. And some of you might feel like you're missing out, but if, I, if you stuck with it and did jumps now and then hurt your knee more so you couldn't do any running, you'd be in a much worse position. So this is a smart call on your, on your behalf. Five seconds left and relax. Then hip thrust. So if you haven't got something you can do hip thrust with, do hamstring raise. Three, two, one, go. But you only need a box or a sofa or a bed. You're doing it on one foot as well. So Danny, Sophia, yeah, one leg, perfect. And try and go up and down on that same leg before you switch. Okay, nice, Sophia. See if you can stay on one foot before you switch. Let's go up and down, and then we'll swap in about 30 seconds time. And then the longer you hold it, the harder it will be. Ideal place to be is you should be able to lift your hips up and then keep them off the floor until the end of the round. So go really close to the floor, like really low, but not quite touching. And if you need to rest, then you can take a break. 10 seconds left of the round. Let's see. Three, two, one, stop. Switch legs. Remember, if you're using... Some of you might not be doing it this way because it's uncomfortable. If it is, roll a blanket up or put a cushion on the box. Three, two, one, go. So Finn, go for a three second hold at the top and then come down slowly. Actually, yes, to be fair, that would apply to anyone. But also try and make it more challenging. The Christian, try and go a little lower if you can and then pause at the bottom. So like go down two second pause and then push up. But the idea is you're pushing through your heel. So you're using your hips more. So this is one of the first things if you went to a physio and you wanted a stronger knee, this is the kind of stuff they'd give you. Yeah, we've all been there. Uh, okay, don't worry about it. 15 seconds. and stop okay pistol squats or rotation plank so rotation plank if you can't do the pistols if you can do them uh pay attention three two one go so i mean i've, I've yet to be able to do these barefoot so i'm going to use my sofa a lot 
for support here. So one foot, squat down, try and stand up. I had an email from someone the other day and what I tried to explain was these are more of a technical thing than they are a strength thing. So the more comfortable you get with pushing at the bottom and being mobile and stable enough, the easier these are going to be. So like Sophia, good use of the parallettes there. Now, if you want, you could use both of them. So you've got a bit something to push off from either side, but you've got enough mobility in your ankle. You could also try, go down mega slow and just do the damn bit. Mix it up and try them all. Jamie, that was ridiculous. That's so cool. If you've got a bit of momentum there, it might be more useful. Okay, stop. We'll have to do the other leg on the second round. Back to the top then. Squat jump or shoulder tap. Three, two, one, go. Some of you are doing really good high continuous ones. Just make sure your height stays good. You want to jump with straight legs so that you, your toes get as far from the floor as possible. Think about the body shape you want to be in when you take off the blocks. So the blocks are behind you at an angle. Imagine if the blocks were under you, you want to go up that way. Almost into the streamline. You can do the streamline with your hands if you want. It's up to you. Otherwise, shoulder taps, remember, slow up, slow down. The best way to think of this, if you're doing shoulder taps instead of jumping right now, it's just extra practice on the slow shoulder taps. It's just going to help your core get stronger. It's all going to help your swimming. So you, every part of the session you, you participate in is going to help you. Relax. Okay, hip thrust. So remember, guys, start with your hips on the floor. So you're dropping your hips up and down. Three, two, one, go. So it doesn't matter which foot you start on. If you want to make it a bit harder, you can lift your front foot up a bit higher. So you've got more distance to travel. And remember, because it's using your hips, not your quads, you should be able to pull this off without hurting your knee. In fact, if it does hurt your knee, tell me. Best way to walk around that is lift your toes off the floor. So imagine the floor was wet and you want to keep your toes dry and just drive your heel into the ground. See, Sophia, bring your foot a little bit further forward of your knee. Yep, yeah, and then try and push up. Perfect. So you you've got to make sure your heel's directly under your knee. Okay, so people who just messaged me, which part of your foot are you pushing through? That bit with your toes or that bit with your heel? Relax, switch sides. Three, two, one, go. So nice and slow, three seconds up, three seconds down. It's your hips that are moving, not your foot. So think about, best example. Think about like your fly kick, it's your hips that you're kicking with, not your knee. So we'll try and lift your hips off the floor and then lower them back down. 20 seconds left. Good work, Hannah. Remember, stop if you're in pain, but make sure your body position is good. So if pronounced, try and put your butt on the floor now from where you are there, like drop your hips. That's it. That's where you start the set. That's where you start the exercise. And then with your hips up is where you finish it. That's it. Three, two, one, stop. Remember, if you're unsure, you can just do it on two feet for now. But next, it's pistol squat. So other leg or you're doing more rotation plank. Okay, three, two, one, go. So 
See you later, Isla. So we're going to think about technical efficiency here. Good body positions. If you finish the set and you've done one pistol squat, that's still good. If you want to make it easier, stand on a block as long as you've got some support. So I'm just going to start. So make myself a little table. So you're squatting down onto something. Doesn't matter how high that thing is, as soon as you can touch it. So if your foam roller is a challenge, but you can squat onto your foam roller, next time just make some like a stack of bucks. Stop there. Hey, nice Lucas. Okay, rest back to the start. But yeah, the pistol squat, I've been getting a lot of messages about that. So that's my goal for now. Some of you have foam rollers. If I can squat down and touch the foam roller, next step is to make a stack of bucks that's about this high. Once that's easy, this high. That high and just all the way down. So some of this stuff isn't about strength. It's not that you're, it's not, that you're not strong enough. It's that your coordination and stability isn't there. And that's why we're working on pistols instead of just doing squats and wall sits. Last round, three, two, one, squat jumps or shoulder taps. So again, even if you didn't have knee pain in the first round, you might want to do some core work now because you think your jumps are starting to suffer. So if I was doing jumps in round one, I was going really high, now I'm tired. So set one was like this. Now they don't pass the coffee table. I would just stop and do shoulder taps. Because otherwise you're just going to practice doing bad jumps and that doesn't help anybody. 20 seconds left. And then make sure when you land out of your jumps, you go back to the position you were when you took off. So if that's the bottom of your jump, that should be where you land to as well. Three, two, one, stop. Hit thrust. So if you're strong enough, have some extra load, use that DVD case, use a ball. Three, two, one, go. Let's see. Uh, Sophia, move your foot a little bit further forward again. That's it. And if you can, just have a look at where your foot is now compared to your knee. So when you push off, your foot, um, I'll show you at the end, carry on. See, Laura, perfect. Christian, perfect. Sophie, excellent. Danny and Sophia, really good. I'm going to run out of time before I can like talk to everyone. Veronica, really good. Cara from JCA, you want your heel on the ground, not your toe. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Perfect. Savannah. Really, really, really good. It's a bouncy. Okay, and stop. Switch legs. Savannah, the next stage, next challenge for you is try and slow it down a bit if you can. Three, two, one, go. Just try and go down slow and then snap yourself back to the top. So like, that's it. Pop. There you go. Yash, give it a go on one leg and then do two and switch over. Let's push up on one. Yeah, that's it. One more, try and do it on two on the other leg. Yeah, there you go. Cool, next step, do it slower. So you wanna be able to go down for four or five seconds and then come up for four or five seconds. Okay, Jess, really good back position there. Good, Ayla, good shapes. Just try and go all the way to the ground and do two before you switch feet. 
and stop. Okay, then pistol squat or rotation plank. So we'll switch over this time. Three, two, one, go. So let's see. If you're happy with pistol squats, try and do a few reps back to back before you switch legs. So if I can hit my foam roller without stacking it. That's one. Two, then I'll switch legs. If you're doing them consistently, now it's time to switch. Okay, Yash, good use of the sofa. Perfect. That's another way to work on your mobility and your stability for it. If you don't want to use a guide. Yeah, of course you can, Jamie. As long as you try these ones now and again, because you're clever and need momentum. So it's good to be able to not have momentum sometimes. I might be too heavy. Ugh. And relax. Actually, Jamie, that's a pretty good chat. If you, Jamie, can I use you as an example? All right, if you, uh, if you all look at uh, Jamie's camera, but can they, can they see each other? Can you see each other or is it just me? Yeah, watch Jamie's camera. So if you do what she does on this one, as long as you don't hit your head and you've got a good soft surface, you can do them this way. Start on the floor and then stand up. Because you've got that momentum, so see, I can't do it. But I thought I'd give you all that laugh at my uh, her, give you a laugh at my expense. It's something to think about practicing, because it's you've got speed on your side. So make sure you've got supervision when you try it, and think Jamie's got a proper mat there. I don't, but I'm an adult. I can take those those risks. You can't. That'll do for today. If you've got knee things. If your knees still hurt tomorrow, it might be worth doing half the session. Everyone else go home, you're at home. Go enjoy your dinners. We'll see you tomorrow. Follow the stretches on the sheets. But yeah, at a certain point, if your knees are, if your body's trying to tell you that your knees are in pain all the time, a bit of rest might be the thing, the best thing for them. Whew.